Hello, my name is Evan Rogers. I'm a, uh, I'm here today to teach you some Japanese. And actually, this lesson we won't be teaching much Japanese. Um, this is just to get to know me. Um, my plan for this is to let you learn some Japanese. Amazingly. Whoa, I know that's amazing. Um, here's the thing. We're calling this course, course, I say it like I'm a teacher, um, or, you know, some sort of professor. Um, we're calling this online, whatever the heck this is going to turn into, Evan's Easy Japanese. So hopefully the idea is that I'm going to teach you Japanese. Whoa, I know, that's a crazy idea with a name like that. Um, this is going to be the introduction, so you know what the heck to expect from these videos. Um, I'm probably going to title this intro or something like that. Um, I have no idea how to do any of this stuff. This is literally, you're in my bedroom right now, and this is a cheap dry erase board that I bought at Office Max, and that's a camera that I bought so that I can take videos of things. Yeah, this is really low key. Um, right there is my laptop, which has my syllabus on it so I can teach you so I can keep track of my own brain what I'm going to teach you. Anyway, this is totally low-key. I do not know anything. This is the first time I'm uploading a video onto YouTube. We'll see if this even works. Um, hopefully it will. Hopefully you'll get some Japanese out of it. Um, let me introduce myself so that, you know, you're probably just going to skip this the first time you start watching these. But, you know, if I didn't introduce you, or introduce myself to you is how we use that in English, you would probably be watching through all these videos and then realizing, hey, wait a minute, I have no idea who the heck this guy is. He's kind of, this is weird. Some guy I don't know is teaching me Japanese. It's kind of freaky. So here's a brief introduction. Um, the name's Evan Rogers, hence Evan's easy Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I'm a genius. Um, the name's Evan Rogers, born and raised central Ohio in a city called Dublin. Uh, it's not to be a jerk, but it's a little bit upper middle class. My dad's a professor at the Ohio State University. Um, I went through the Dublin City Schools District, graduated from Scioto High School. I'm sure some nerd out there is probably Google mapping Scioto High School. Yes, it's a real place. Um, that's where I graduated. I was a four-year marching band student, and uh, I uh, that was kind of the biggest highlight, you know. Ooh, one time in marching band. Uh, any, all right, what is it, band camp? Sorry, I just totally wrecked that joke. Um, I did four years marching band in high school, um, two-year squad leader, I played saxophone, alto, in case, I mean, I'm imagining that this video is going to be kind of aimed towards nerdy kids, because I mean, hey, who else is learning Japanese? I'm a nerd, I'm a nerd. Um, I am a nerd, I read Dragon Ball all the time, you should see my bookshelf over there, it's filled with books that are nerdy. Um, anyway, back to more important things about myself, I graduated from Scioto went on to the Ohio State University and I was gonna originally be like an engineer or something like that yeah right give me a break that took way too much effort and I didn't have it in me uh, mathematics calculus totally sucks um anyway uh, went majored in Japanese Ohio State University has a fantastic Japanese program if you're actually serious about becoming Japanese related in any way Ohio State seriously no joke um, went through the Japanese program at Ohio State uh, and then once I graduated I went to Japan it's called a place called Gunmaken I'll probably bring up a map one time and show you I really suck at this I no planning whatsoever um, and uh, it's a place called Gunmaken and uh, I taught in Maebashi city oh well, first I taught at Nova which was in Maebashi uh, Nova is a famous Japanese company if you talk to a Japanese person ask them about Nova they'll probably giggle and say oh he was a Nova teacher. That's kind of a thing in Japan. Um, if you're white and you're in Japan, or, you know, if you're not Japanese and you're in Japan, you're probably an English teacher who works at, like, someplace like Nova. And I did. That's how I got to Japan. Um, I started teaching English while I was in Japan. It was... I have to admit, I didn't really like teaching at Nova. That's why I left it. It wasn't horrible, don't get me wrong. Uh, it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say anything bad about Nova. Just, it just wasn't for me. I ended up uh, leaving and becoming what's known as an ALT. ALT. Yeah, totally. That's a whiteboard. Yeah, those still exist. Um, I was a ALT, which means an assistant language teacher. And uh, I went in there and taught English to a bunch of little grade school kids. Um, 
For those of you who are unaware, grade school in Japan is grades one through six. Whoa, crazy. Um, I'm in America. I, I guess on the internet people might be from different countries where that's normal, but in America we go from one to five. Anyway, um, teaching Japanese or teaching English in Japan for four years, give or take, and came back, got a graduate's degree for education, teaching a foreign language, um, Japanese from the Ohio State University. I'm Ohio boy. Ohio! O-H! Some people got that. Some people have no idea what I'm talking about. Alright, anyway, if you're from Michigan, stop what I'm kidding. I'm joking. If you're from Michigan, that's cool. Uh, yeah. They get the joke because it's an Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. It's a huge deal. I just got back from Red Hot Chili Pepper concert the other day where uh, the, the drummer, Chad Smith, apparently is from Michigan and he wore a Michigan hat on and everybody was yelling at him, get out of here, you jerk, but good music. Anyway, um, I'm a nerd. Like I said earlier, I'm a big old nerd. Dragon Ball, right there. I play Dungeons and Dragons. No joke. I'm this bald and I still play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, actually, I went bald in high school, so whatever. Um, no bald jokes. Otherwise, I'm gonna kick you out of my class. Or, um, what else about me that's nerdy? I play Dra Dungeons and Dragons, World of Warcraft. Yeah, hey, that's me. I play Diablo 3 now, because it just came out, and I got a hardcore and barbarian. Yeah! And, uh... Anyway, I have a long history of Japanese, and that's, that's kind of the point of this class. I'm actually a tutor for Japanese and a tutor for English. There's a huge Japanese community here in Dublin, and uh, I'm helping them out with English, and I'm also helping out the people who are taking Japanese in their high schools to learn Japanese. Um, you know, it's, it's a rough thing. Um, one of the biggest complaints that I come across is I need someone to explain this to me and that's why I'm making this videos one of the students parents was like you should totally make some videos and I was like you know what I should that'd be an awesome idea uh, and so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna start making some videos I'm gonna start we haven't started yet that's just the introduction so you know who this bald guy teaching you Japanese is um, the aim of this course, I don't know, we're gonna call it a course, even though it's not really, it's just gonna be as long as I feel like making videos. The aim of this course is to give the average guy who wants, or girl, who wants to learn some Japanese, some basis for learning it, you know, education, that's the goal. Um, my goal, A, is to, you know, this will probably help me in the future for landing a job, and B, it's one of those things, you know, you just kind of feel like you have to make it. The idea got implanted in my head, and boom, I, I started putting it into gears in motion. Um, one of my duties here is to make you, yeah, that's right, you, that guy in the YouTube, you're on the other side, into a more autonomous learner, so you learn how to learn on your own. That's kind of a weird thing to learn, but totally want to bring that up. Um, most of the students I talk to are just frustrated that they don't have, oh, right here, that's my syllabus I'm looking at. A lot of the students... Just have a lot of problems with, you know, but what if I, you know, do this, or what if I do that? Does that make any sense? And, you know, who's going to tell you no if, A, your high school program, your, your, your school program probably doesn't have a Japanese program in it. I mean, we have a huge Japanese community right here in central Ohio, and maybe two districts have Japanese as a foreign language to learn, and that's ridiculous in my opinion. You know, Spanish is everything. Um... Anyway, back on task. Um, I get off task easily. I know a lot of you are probably kids who are like, Oh my god, this is totemo kawaii! As you guys are like reading anime and manga. And that's totally fine. Like, I'll make fun of you, but that's okay. It's okay to be like that. Um, that's how you start. The first time I got introduced to Japanese was... My, one of my, I'm looking over here because that's where my Dragon Ball comics are. Was uh, through Dragon Ball. Uh, I picked up one of the books and I was like, oh my gosh, they're fighting. And I had no idea what they were talking about. But that's how I got introduced to the subject back when I was uh, elementary school. Um, going further. <laughs> yeah, totally low key. I don't know anything about technology. Look at this. This is, a, this is a whiteboard that I bought from Office Max and some, you know, markers. This is totally low key. Um, and, uh, geez, I think that's about it. Oh, oh, this is important. I'm going to make mistakes because I'm an idiot sometimes, and everyone makes mistakes. I mean, if you listen to yourself talk English, you make mistakes talking English all the time. I'm going to make mistakes in Japanese. Totally feel free to say you did this wrong. However, don't be a jerk about it. How about that? That's a pretty good trade. How about that? 
Um, if you know better than me, which I'm sure a few people out there in the universe are better than me, duh, I'm not fluent. Um, I'm not fluent in any sense of the term in Japanese. I'm, well, maybe not any sense of the term, but I mean, I'm not fluent. I'm pretty good. I'm very good. I lived in Japan for four years, got around translating for people who didn't know uh, Japanese. I'm pretty good at Japanese, but holy God, I'm going to make mistakes. All right, and uh, that's that. I hope that you're going to have fun learning Japanese with me. Woo! I wish I could see your faces. Um, these, these videos are going to be boring, but hopefully I have a stupid enough personality that it'll be worth your time to watch these. Um, if you guys want to teach me how to do more fun stuff, feel free, because I totally want to learn. Just the issue becomes, I don't know how to make cool videos. Alright, I'm sure I've talked enough. This is Evan's Easy Japanese. Hopefully it will stay that way. This is the intro. Have a good day. Arrivederci.